good, man. All right, man, I just woke up, so if I sound weird, that's the reason why. But man, I introduce you right again back to Naruto. Now, my homie said you haven't played this in a while. You wanted to play it, <laughs> he just got his ass handed to him. No, I'm not gonna lie. He's got me. Um, but some of the other files are actually corrupted. Why does it do that? I don't know. And at the same time, I'm not recording with my house. I know I recorded with uh, uh, the, the captives on Xbox One. So, anyway, let's get back to this game. So, right now, I'm getting whipped out. But one thing that I did not know about Gara is that. Um, if you're not, even if you're not burning, there's a certain way to actually use uh, Kagro and his sister with Gara at the same time. Just, well, well, well you'll see. Like, usually when I'm throwing my shirt because they come out and actually help me. I don't know how that is even possible. See what I'm doing right now? How Tim, how the car Tim, how Tomori is like basically assisting me. I don't know how that's even possible. I never knew about that at all whatsoever. But, um, oh wait, I think I know, never mind. Okay. But anyway, um, if anybody's out there that wants to verse us uh, in Naruto, in um, Xenoverse, now I can get number two, I really need to pre-order that because, man, that game is way too late. And I'm still getting good down right now. Oh, okay, this part, that was funny. Because he thought he could get me with his speed and it was not going to happen. I wasn't going to go down like that. On top of that, I was trying to run his sub out so I could do my special on him. And watch, I got him right here. Not this one. But when he got me in the comments, he dropped it right there. And then I got, he got so mad. Now, same time, he got me with something that's so beasty. Now, if you do not know c is that he can automatically teleport towards you with a special. If you already know what his name is, you would know that. But I was not expecting that whatsoever. And... I just got savage for him, man. He's savage for it, period. Like, just moment of silence. I rule everything here. Turn to dust. The victor has been decided. There is no way to fight this Genjutsu. But you know what? I'm gonna come back. I'm going to come back. Off of just that one thing, I'm going to come back. Because one, okay, one thing I like about Gara is that um, he just looks, he just stands there and looks cool while you're just basically getting sand. That's one thing I always liked about Gara. For some reason, I do not know. I just like that about him, just because it seems like you're trying to attack him, kind of get past the pit, and he's like looking at you like you're nothing. Now. He tried to get me with that again. And then this is when we were just playing around so we were like talking about Gala's grab and how we like it so much and I caught him right in the air and got him crushed. And another person that you should not play around with is um is the first Hokage. Because one, he uses uh I think it's his I don't wanna Right. If he used his second bow, he actually had a lot more range and a lot more distance into his combo, which makes it harder for you to actually get in and penetrate him and um, actually do all your combos and actually connect. Now, with that being said, he is a, he is a fantastic tournament player. I'm trying to tell you. But like if you pick him, uh, Monaco, and I would say, in my opinion, uh, get reincarnated um, Itachi. Now, that is my team right there. That's like an unstoppable team right there. Just because, okay, one, 
uh, you have basically Itachi that has an assist to where his flame will follow you no matter what. And on top of that, you have somebody that has dashed towards you just like this, like how Naruto is doing, and will stop where you are going and what you want to do. Now, it's not a cool thing if you do not know how to use it. Period. And this is when he got me with that special. So I tried to jump away when I should have blocked. And on top of that, I was thinking to myself, he had no subs. I could have did a super combo and just destroyed his life with a special. I don't know why I didn't do that. But that's what commentary gets you when you're literally trying to commentate and actually trying to fight. Now, I gotta roll my boy, Rock Lee and Guy. Now, Guy is nothing to play with, especially with his speed, one, and for, if I go behind this tree, yeah. I thought I, was, I thought I was not gonna get hit if I went behind a tree. I swear I didn't think I was gonna get hit. I thought I was actually gonna hit the, the tree, not just like curve like a freaking boomerang. But, all right, one thing about, why did it make that animation like it hit me? I don't get that. But, okay, look. One, his speed is impeccable. Guy, guy's speed is impeccable. Now, if you go awakening world, oh, it's over. Period. You gotta, you gotta be a master strategizer if you want to try to go head to head with guy in his awakening mode. Like you have no choice whatsoever. Like I'm, a, I'm gonna literally show you what this work does, man. Look, and he shouldn't have let go of that block button. He should have never let go of that block button. Really? I don't like that Sasuke. I don't because his flame control doesn't go as far. And on top of that, he's kind of close combat and they did a poor job on him. I don't know, there's probably some people that are out there that like that kind of, that, that Sasuke. But me, personally, I would have to train with him more to, you know, to like him. Beast. Beast. Check the footwork. Check the footwork. Check the footwork. Of course I'm going to win Now one thing I really need to start paying attention is like when I'm fighting and that seal breaks loose. I don't know if like it's a certain amount of time where that seal breaks loose to where I can use my awakening mode. But I really need to start paying attention to that because that probably would have saved my butt and I would have did like a, I would have got him in 2-0. I don't know why he keeps spamming that. I just don't spam it until he lost his chakra. That's what made, basically made him lose the game because once he uh, substitutes, he can't dash towards me unless he double jumps, waiting to our attack, and then um, hits me with a um, a regular combo. So please, if you're if you're trying to strategize, literally, first thing you should really just have mindset is um, get rid of subs and or get rid of all their chakra and then attack them. And then, like say if you're both far distance, make sure you load up your chakra to where you can at least dash and then just attack them. Because that's the best way to get rid of somebody. And that's the best way to win the fight. It's like paper, rock, scissors, but at the same time it's mind games if you are basically in a competitive scene. So, combos, get rid of substitutions, get rid of chakras, and you're, you're a golden period. Man, all these shadow clones. And this, look, I tried to let go. I tried to attack him. I thought I would have been fast enough. But he already messed up because one, I have distance on him. And two, I'm going to have my awakening mode. That's not going to hit me. It would take way too long. You were desperate, man. You were desperate. Now beast mode comes out. <laughs> the blue beast, which I, I've really never gotten when he's actually red. So he should be called like the red beast. But or Lava Beast or something like that. Too slow! Why? Look at them hands! <laughs> look at them hands, he got hands like Luffy. Hey, to be honest, doesn't he look like he's in second gear? But, it doesn't matter. Either way, I won. I'm out of here!